election day. And it's very important for all of us to participate. It's a right and it's also a responsibility. Voting is something that many people struggle to secure for all of us. So it doesn't matter whether you're in a red or a blue state, get out there and let your individual voice be heard and felt. My great uncle Alphonse Lambert was a stonecutter for cemeteries in New Orleans. Well, he was born in 1883. In the first decade of the 1900s, we used to call him Pomp. Old Pomp would get out there and get the runaround at his polling station. He'd have to do stuff like recite sections of the Constitution or name the signers, all of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Then he practiced it. And when he could do a lot of it, still they would send him home with a hug, a God bless you, brother, and a smile. Yet he continued to push for his rights and he showed up for every election, local, federal, anything that involved electing, he made sure he showed up. Sometimes in the 1920s, his persistence paid off and the people at his polling station just gave up and let him vote. He would always tell us, make them cheat you to your face. Make them cheat you to your face. To honor him, I like to get up at 5 a.m. I press my suit. I have me a cup of good, strong black coffee with a lot of chicory. That's that New Orleans coffee. And I take his stone to the polls with me. This stone says, don't be discouraged because he ran out of space for the D at the end. See, it's old and withered, but it's, it's a thing I always look at. Don't be discouraged. <laughs> so if you haven't done so already, Let's get out and handle our business. We got to vote. Thank you so much.